Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. I'm back with another video. Today we are going to unveil a custom 3D printed gunner kit. That's right, the Death Star gunner has a gunner turret, if you will, that we all saw in A New Hope and Return of the Jedi and Crazy DS Customs was nice enough to send me one and I wanted to open that with you guys today. I'm very excited. It's my first 3D printed item and I wanted to share that with you. It's an awesome, awesome little piece for your three and three quarter inch action figures. It goes with your vintage figures. It goes with your modern figures. If it's three and three quarter inch, this is the gunner kit for you. So let's check it out. All right, you guys, I got this awesome um, gift from one of my uh, you Instagram um, followers. This is from Crazy DS Customs. They do a lot of 3D printed um, Star Wars um, merch, basically things that you can use for your your figures. Um, all kinds of different um, items that enhance your collections. And Paul over at Crazy, Crazy DS Customs was nice enough to send this to me. And um, I'm very excited to open this bad boy. Um, I This is actually going to be the first 3D printed item that I have in my collection. Um, I don't currently uh, have any 3D printed things. Um, so I'm very excited to see what, uh, see what you guys are up to. Um, I think the world of customs and toy making and the toy making community at large is just doing some fabulous things and I for one am excited to uh, basically get my hands on something like this and it's very cool of Paul to send this to me I appreciate you brother thank you so much and uh, let's see what uh, let's see what we got here beautifully packaged I love the uh, professional packaging as I've always said in all my videos that I unbox toys it's great to when anyone packs toys, merchandise, anything with some love and care, I don't like to open a box and see stuff thrown about and it's like, great, is this even going to be functional? Is it broke? Um, do I need to send this back? Um, that's very disappointing. So I, I do love it when people take pride in their work and take pride in the things that they're making and take pride in shipping, whatever it is it is, you know, whatever it might be whether it's something you personally made or it's a toy that you have that you're selling, make sure you pack it well. That's, that's all, it's not, a hard, it's not a hard thing to ask. It's not difficult to do either. Um, so I, I appreciate that. Let's see here. Look at this bad boy. This is awesome. This is the gunner kit for the Death Star. Um, this is, man, this is awesome. It's not too heavy. Um, again, this is the first 3D printed object I've held in my hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so this is, uh, this is awesome. I, I've seen a lot of stuff online. There's a lot of 3D makers out there, um, but uh, I've never actually pulled the trigger and gotten anything. So this may tip the scales, Paul. He may be tipping the scales, brother. This is dope. Um, I'm gonna have to assemble this so it does not come uh, pre-assembled which is not a big deal but um, this is awesome I mean right away it's you know it feels like something that's gonna you know be sturdy enough to stand up on a, on a shelf somewhere um, I mean this is instantly recognizable I know exactly what it is even if he hadn't told me what it was um, I would just opening this box I would have known exactly you know this is a dead giveaway. This is the this is the gunner station for the Death Star. So looks exactly like um, as it should. So this is the main cannon, main turret, so to speak. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got here. All right. It's like Christmas, guys. Like Christmas in November. I love getting Star Wars toys. All right. So in here we have what looks like the base. <clears throat> yeah, this is the base for this bad boy. And I'm assuming that these pieces pop on here. But uh, I will have to uh, have to take a look here when I have everything all spread out. 
This is the actual true base of this whole thing. Man, this thing is massive. This thing is a this thing is a beast. This is a legit. Love it. Love it. You can see the uh, Empire Imperial Signia, which is awesome. It's cool. Very cool. Man, this thing is huge. I love this. This uh, the size. That you're definitely gonna need some display space for this. Um, as I've talked about in all my other videos, display space is the kiss collector's kiss of death. So you definitely need some real estate to display something of this this magnitude um, on. Um, this is awesome, man. This thing is serious, serious uh, um, situation here. This is legit. Like again, this is 3D printed, guys. This is not factory made. It's 3D printed. Um, I'm really impressed with just the detail that goes into something like this. I mean, it's just all the lines. It's just so cool looking. I mean, Kenner never gave us this. Hasbro, I, I'm sure, made some kind of smaller version. To clarify, we did get this version on the Death Star playset, but we never got one that was detachable. So that's what I mean by Kenner never gave us one. They never gave us a detachable version, one that was much larger like this kit. Uh, for the Power of the Force 2 line, but something like this for the original Kenner line would have been sweet. Um, and this is this is going to go great with the three and three quarter inch figures. I mean, this is beautiful. Very, very, very cool. Um, the box also comes with Gunner Station, as you can see there. So I'm assuming these are instructions to put this thing together. Possibly not, um, but we shall see. Oh, what is this? Ooh! All right. So these are these are the other parts, the other little small intricate pieces, the little the little bits and whatnots that go into it that make this the full assembly for this uh, entire station. I'm definitely going to make this thing fully armed and operational. Let you bet your butt. I'm um, excited to do that. It's a lot of a lot of pieces with this thing, and you know what? It's kind of cool that it's a you know a self-assembled um, toy. Um, it's kind of like you know being a kid again and getting something in, you know for Christmas or whatever, and you you know you got to open it up and you or a parent has to put it together. Um, so you kind of really take ownership of something when you have to assemble it yourself. So there's something to be said for that. But again, these pieces are just so cool and everything is you know printed in such a way that it's it's going to go together i mean it's going to absolutely fit together and look a certain way i mean it's awesome this is very cool man um it's amazing what you guys are doing nowadays with 3d printing um the ingenuity the creativity thinking of something hey you know what would be cool Let's make a gunner station, something for the Death Star that was never made from Kenner. Like something like this is just awesome. Like who doesn't want a fully assembled gunner station? Um, this was something I would have never thought that uh, would have come out. You know, I didn't think this would be something that somebody would make. And well, here we have it. It's right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and piece this bad boy together and um we'll go from there i love that it's just uh, this is awesome dude thank you so much um so give me a moment guys this doesn't come with any instructions maybe when you order online which i will drop a um i will drop a um uh, a link to the website where you can order this this piece along with many other um products from crazy uh um ds customs there's a lot of uh, other awesome items that you can get for your Star Wars collection that he makes. Um, so I will leave a link in the description of this video down below for you guys to check out what other products that they have. Um, so stay tuned. Real quickly, I'm gonna assemble this and show you guys what it looks like all pieced together. All right, guys, by looking at the website, um, this doesn't come with instructions. So I looked at the website and everything's pretty easy to pop on. Um, you know, you kind of can figure out where everything goes. You do, however, need some glue. I, um, you need some kind of adhesive and I don't have don't have any adhesive because um, I didn't actually order this. 
Um, I didn't receive any adhesive, but I do have some some regular, uh, you know, crazy glue at, at the house here. So I'm going to attempt to um, continue to assemble this bad boy. Um, let's see if we can't uh, finish this up with just the crazy glue I have. And again, this is an assembly piece, which is cool. Um, I was forgetting the fact that you would need some kind of adhesive to uh, put this thing together. Um, so like these two pieces, for instance, you can see that they are slotted, not slotted, but I mean, it's obvious which way they go. Um, glue these together, little glue here, little glue here, put onto the top part right here. So I think that's the first time I've worked with any 3D stuff. Um, I've never actually put anything together like this. I don't have any experience using um, 3D, 3D uh, printed items whatsoever. Um, so this is this is new for me. Exciting though, because like I said, this is something that's not going to come in a toy. We're never going to get a vintage version of this. Pardon the uh, outside noise, guys. I live in a very na um, noisy neighborhood in Los Angeles. Um, so I do apologize for that. But um, yes, the this is something that, you know, it's kind of one of these one of the one of a kind type of things. You, you can't just find this at the store and you're not going to just find this at a toy shop. So this is cool. Um, I like unique pieces. So just put some glue on there. And I'm sure the on the website on their website, they do have adhesives that you can buy very cheaply. Um, but because of, for the sake of this video and I don't know how long it'll take to ship. I found some crazy glue that I have at the house here, like I said, so hopefully this will do the trick. These are very lightweight pieces. They're not super heavy, so I'm assuming that the crazy glue I have is going to do the trick just fine. Give a little, little pressure. Hold this in for a minute or so. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm feeling this thing, man. This is pretty sweet. Very sweet piece to add. A little bigger than the... Um, uh, the, the actual one that's on the, the Death Star playset. Um, the beauty of this is that with this base, this base is really what seals the deal. Um, I'm not sure if the base comes with this when you order it or if Paul just included this in here for me um, because he knew I would, you know, want the whole smack out version. Maybe this is the smacked out version. Again, I don't know. I have to check the website. Um, but these are very inexpensive pieces and for something that looks as cool as this, finished product on a shelf is going to look dope and uh, something that not everyone's going to have so again exclusivity uniqueness can't ask for more than that and it looks hella cool I mean this thing is looks just like just like in the movie this crazy glue is actually working really well um, which is awesome again a little pressure just give it a few moments Hopefully I didn't F this up in any capacity. Um, I do believe this is how this goes. Again, I'm looking at the photos on the website. Um, and by my calculations, this will glue onto here like so. And will be something akin to that. And Bob is your uncle. And if you have an uncle named Bob, say hi to him. I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and slap some glue on this bad boy. This far exceeds the uh, childlike Kenner toy experience. Normally you just snap pieces together. But as a kid, those dang decals, man. The decals, that was always the, the thing, the trickery of those... Who put those, you know, let me know in the comments, guys. Who put the decals on properly? Did you do it? Did mom or dad do it? Um, you know, the decals all had a designated spot on the said ship, place set, what have you. Did you guys actually follow the instructions and take your time putting those decals on? Or did you just put the decals wherever the hell you felt like it? Because I'm sure a lot of us, you know, we're kids, depending on the age that you acquired said toy. 
maybe you went for perfection or maybe you said I don't care this thing's cool anyway the decals are secondary it doesn't matter where I stick them but on something like this you can't F this up you got to do this right or it's just not gonna look right so the glue is on both pieces I've got the base nice and clean make sure there's no debris or anything on there and we are going to firmly apply make sure it's nice and straight I pray to God this adhesive is going to work otherwise um, I'm going to have to order some glue from Paul here because this is probably the what he's selling is, is the proper adhesive for um, this particular material crazy glue does a lot of things it's great for a lot of purposes it's, you know it's truly an all-purpose in air quotes um, but again with the weight of something like this it's not it's not heavy but just might not be the right right material um, the adhesive just may be made out of a different compound that is not um, favory <clears throat> you know just doesn't uh, complement this this particular um, 3d printed item so here's hoping fingers crossed may the force be with us as we Try to apply this thing. And this thing is dope. I mean, look at this beast. That's <laughs> some serious. I don't even have the tip on it. This is the tip's not even on it yet. This is not the full thing. So um, I'm gonna put this on here and see see uh, what happens once it's fully uh, fully assembled. I was gonna try to do this off camera, and but I figured, what the heck, you guys? If you guys are gonna order this, you might as well see how easy it is to do, and don't be intimidated by the. Um, assembly portion of this um, acquisition this doesn't take long and like I said by the, maybe the instructions are normally included when you get it I didn't get any in mine but um, maybe it's just that stupidly easy when you look at the photo online you're like oh well, that's that's where that piece goes that where it goes and there's like you know pegs and holes this is not rocket science no no pun intended here with this being a space item but uh, yeah it's not rocket science so we're just firmly pressing down on this thing. And if there's any glue, I don't know if you guys can see the sheen, probably not. I kind of moved this before I placed it. And so there's a little bit of glue. I don't know if you guys can see that sheen right there. It's off where I first moved the peg and then it slid down. If there's any adhesive left sticking over, um, a thing that I like to use is lighter fluid. And I'll probably take some lighter fluid and Put it on a q-tip and wipe that glue off the lighter fluid will usually eat up any adhesives um, i use it to remove stickers off of old kenner boxes i use lighter fluid to clean stuff ink paint off of toys works like a, a charm so i would probably go ahead and smack that out with a little bit of lighter fluid and see if we can't uh, get rid of that but it's so minuscule i mean I'm, I'm not really noticing and the cool part is is even though it's i I didn't screw it up, but it's not exactly fully centered. Um, there's a little bit of gap there, and over here is a little bit more play playroom. It's kind of hard to see, but it's maybe not 100% centered. There, there you go. Maybe you can see that now. How I've glued mine on is not. It's not. It's not dead center, but you know what? I don't really care. This is no one's gonna know. And oh, yeah, it's a little off centered. It's a little off centered, guys. I may have to. I have to wiggle this around here, break break the mold, so to speak, and kind of push it over a little bit and give it another pass, which is kind of a bummer. But again, like I tell you guys in these videos, patience is everything. Don't be in a rush. You rush it, you break it. <laughs> That's what the Kenner toys that is. This is obviously uh, modern, modern made um, craftsmanship, but still. It is fragile. You, you, you know. I'm sure if I drop this, it, it could possibly crack and break. So you want to take care with. Treat it like it's Kenner, baby. Just treat it like it's Kenner. Treat it like it's vintage. And the sweet thing about this is, is this is for three and three quarters. So you don't have to use this for Kenner. This can be used for your modern Hasbro, um, retro line, what have you. Whatever you know, three and three quarter figures you have. It's not like it's only. T it's not like it's tailor made just for Kenner. This is tailor made for three and three quarter figures because I don't collect oops I don't collect modern um, I'm gonna stick three and three quarter guys on this bad boy so that's that's what we're working with here all right press it on okay cool that seems to be holding straighten that out 
I'm not going to play with that too much. There is no, there's no load that goes on it, so it, it, it can be fine just the way it is. This piece right here pops into here. Again, you can glue all these pieces down um, for the sake of this video and for time purposes. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as is. Everything seems to kind of stay on, so it's no big deal. This piece just kind of pops on there, which I may glue on there just because it's kind of, kind of wanky janky. So we will carefully put some glue in here. There we go. Where did I put it? All right, guys. And we will hold that in place. Let gravity do the work for us. Maybe this is supposed to spin, I don't know, but I'm gonna try to glue mine in. If it doesn't really hold, it's not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker. Um, yeah, man, this is a, this is a pretty sweet toy. Um, I say toy because what else do you call it? Um, gotta call it a toy if, if, you know, it's gonna go with toys. It's, it's a toy accoutrement, so to speak. Love these seats, man. This is awesome. You can stick two gunners on here. Um, the seats do pop off. Um, I'm not gonna pop them off, but they they do come on and off. So it's not like it's a permanent thing. If for some reason you, I don't know why you take the seat off, but you can. Um, easily, uh, so I guess if you were going to take this apart and store it in a box somewhere, I don't, again, why would you want to do that? But if you have to move or move your collection around or whatever for compartmentalizing things and condensing down and putting things in smaller packages to, to store. Um, yeah, this crazy glue. Hell yeah, this is working just great. So that's really, uh, it's really staying in there. This piece been a few minutes this is also staying on it's a good sign it's a good sign awesome all right so now we got that piece got this piece on um, let's see here I think this piece I put on to this this piece snapped into here this is the other big piece of this cannon which Obviously it goes on the end here like so. Um, I could glue it, probably going to glue it because that's what's intended to do. So let's just go ahead and do that. Um, I don't see me putting this in a box anytime soon, so I'm not really worried about, you know, breaking things down, so to speak. And uh, make sure you are putting in the right, the right piece. Don't, there's two little, you know, uh, holes in this but obviously only one goes in and you guys know what these things look like we've all seen the movies we know exactly what this cannon turret looks like how it goes so again can't really screw this up let's put a small small droplet in here and like I said the adhesive ooh, the adhesive that Paul has on his website it's probably probably dries better and, and it's going to hold better than this crazy glue because it's designed for that. So um, I would recommend getting that adhesive um, when you order these. And again, let's tip it over. Let's just let gravity do its thing. Hold it in place. And again, you know, if you were to knock this off the shelf, yeah, it's probably going to come apart where it's been glued that's let's be honest this is not uh, cast iron this is a plastic some type of plastic compound that uh, they use to print these things out I don't know much about that stuff because I don't never printed stuff before no idea but I am fascinated by the process nonetheless because look what look what I'm holding I mean this is it's just awesome what technology can can do nowadays
press a little more pressure on it. I'm trying to keep everything. To be honest, I tell you guys to have patience, and I'm like a little kid still, always. I have very little patience. Um, so this is, this is the test of my patience here. So I'm just like, come on, come on, let me get my toy on it already. Let me get my let me get my dudes on it. Um, let me bump that camera. Uh, let me uh, you know, let me let me get this assembled. All right, that's it's really it's really working. I really wish I had this glue. I should just order some. If for some reason this crazy glue breaks off, then it's you know my fault. I don't have the proper glue, so I should just get a bottle of this um, from Crazy DS Customs. Grab a bottle, and then I'll always have it. I'm Probably won't be the last thing I, once I cruise the website more, there's a couple other juicy little items on there for Star Wars that uh, might need to get into my collection. So, all right, let's see how this is going here. All right, so that's working. I did touch this and it started to come to, uh, started to come off a little bit. So probably, you know what would work well? Taking a hair dryer on a low setting, being about six inches away. Um, pardon the, uh, if you guys can hear the garbage truck outside, it's garbage pickup day. It is, uh, annoying to hear that right now. So I do apologize, but, um, should be momentarily passing. Um, yes, a hair dryer holding it about, you know, six inches away, low setting. That'll help dry this up a lot faster. but I'm gonna keep holding on to this just the same. This thing is solid. I'm really impressed. Like this thing is like way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's pretty big, man. This is, and rightfully so. It's for the Death Star. This thing's a meaty, a meaty thing. All right, this piece is still, ooh, that's really on there. That's nice. All right, guys, beautiful. So, take our base and I'm not sure if this thing is supposed to be able to swivel around on this piece like so I would think so so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything weird I'm not gonna glue that in place with this thing this kind of slots in like so with this chair assembly this pops in there like that and then you just pop this on the base and it kind of acts as a counterweight so that this thing doesn't have to move. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is badass, man. And now, let's see if we get some some of my dudes on it. All right, guys. And here, this beast is with some three and three quarter good old fashioned Kenner. Got us a stormtrooper and a power of the force. Imperial Gunner situated on this bad boy. And if I had two loose, um, I could stick another one on that chair over there. But I, as far as, uh, I don't have a lot of these guys. So we'll just have to use uh, the situation. But look at that, man. This is awesome looking. Paul, you're a mad scientist, brother. This is an awesome, awesome, sweet piece. I really appreciate you sending this my way. Super cool. Love the detail scaled right it's perfect for three and three quarter inch guys it's gonna look awesome on a shelf and um i really just i'm really impressed with what you've what you've crafted here brother this is pretty awesome and again guys i'm going to drop a link in the description below of this video for you guys to go to crazy ds customs and make your own purchases to uh buy this this sweet sweet star wars gunner kit Appreciate you guys for watching. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Is this up your alley? I mean, this thing is it's pretty it's pretty sweet. And like I said, it's not just for Kenner, guys. I mean, I, I'm a Kenner man, so I've got Kenner vintage figures on there. But you obviously can put any three and three quarter inch Star Wars figure on this beast and rock it out how you see fit. But let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think of this thing. And um, appreciate you guys for watching. And I hope to uh, hope to hear from you guys in the comments. Take care, guys. 
just want to say a big thank you to Paul over at Crazy DS Customs. Thank you so much, brother, for sending me this awesome gunner kit. It's super cool. I'm super stoked to add it to my collection. Thank you very much, brother. It's really, really a cool piece. You did a hell of a good job on it. And I'm a complete surprise, man. Seriously, a complete surprise. And I just, I love it when guys like you and the community brighten somebody like, like myself, brighten my day. It's really awesome of you, brother. So thank you again. And for you guys that are watching this video, I appreciate you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it informative. Hopefully you will get a gunner kit yourself or another piece from Crazy DS Customs. And again, I'm going to drop a link in the description of the video so you guys know exactly where to go to get said piece. And hopefully uh, I'll hear from you guys in the comments. Let me know. What did you guys think about this gunner piece? What do you think? Were you going to order one? I think it looks pretty dope. I'm pretty jazzed about it myself. And like I said, I had to share it with you guys. So thanks for tuning in. And if you've not already done so, blast that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to smash the notifications button so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.